Well, I left off with cutting the um, destination pole down and I said we were going to go drill a hole, uh, dig a hole, whatever. Um, but I was going to get my power auger and it wouldn't pump up with that little gas bubble, you know, the little gas bubble. So I changed the gas bubble out. It had a crack in it. I probably should have videoed that, but I didn't. Uh, I was in a hurry. I wanted to hurry up and get it done. But I changed the bubble out. I changed the lines out. I changed the filter out. And it wouldn't still pump up. So I looked it up on YouTube. YouTube, again, is the greatest thing going. So I looked up how to fix it on or why it wasn't pumping up. And it may be clocked. So I went to a local um, auto store, got some carb cleaner, and now I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to go clean it. Blow it out with some air and so forth. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Well, I'll show you what they showed me how to do that and we'll see if it works. See if we can get this thing running. If I can't get it running, I'm taking it over to the uh, small engine repair place and I'm going to have them just dropping it off. Or I'll go buy a new one. Who knows? I mean, I only paid like $170 for the power auger at Harbor Freight. And if they're going to charge me $100, bucks, i will just go buy a brand new one. So let's see if I can't get it running first with this and uh, start digging a hole. Okay, here's the old bubble. As you can see, let's see if I can get it focused. You can see right there above my thumb, it has a crack in it. So that was allowing air to come in and it wouldn't pump up. And here's the old hoses and the old filter. So I took that apart, took that out, and here's all the new stuff. And this is what I got. Now I'm going to try to pump this up and listen. So they're saying that I got to take this off here and spray this all up in here and spray all the holes and everything and run a wire through it and blow some air in there. So that's what I got to do. I'm going to take these two hoses off, take the air filter off, unscrew this, take this in, and I'm going to go spray it inside my shop and uh, blow some air through it, put it back together, and hopefully it'll start up. If not, it goes to the repair shop. Okay, I'm going to take this apart. So hopefully I don't get in the way too much. And uh, get the right size screwdriver. And you have to take the air breather off. To get to it. Now I have a tendency of breaking things. So I'll try to be really careful here. I don't know if it's just in my nature but it seems like almost everything that I touch I break um, I don't know I'll take that off okay I have to take fuel tank, drop the fuel tank, and when I did this before, boy I got me a metal splinter in my finger, because some of this aluminum apparently, I don't know how, but some of the aluminum fins, or cooling fins on this thing here, down in here, broke. And I went down to get the screw. Man, I got me a 
a metal splinter right there. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna try not to do that today. Let's take, let's see if we can't get this hose off without breaking. This one's tough. So, <clears throat> let's see if I can't get this one off without breaking my fingers or breaking something. Now, who knows, I might be buying, buying a new one anyway. Because, there we go. Alright. Now, let's see if I can't get this fuel tank off without dumping all my fuel or getting another splinter. Yeah, I stopped it. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to fix all my own stuff. And, uh, but anymore, I pretty much just, I just got four little screws right here. Let me take this off. But when I was a kid, I used to fix all my own stuff. And then we just got out of fixing things. myself and something breaks I just take it somewhere to get it fixed pay somebody else to fix it and you, know, you get too busy and uh, you don't have time and it just pays you to let somebody else do it while it frees you up in your time to do other things but now that I'm older, yeah, I'm older. And that gasket, you gotta be careful with that. Nah. All right, so I got that off. And what I'm gonna do, there's another gasket right here. I'm gonna be really careful with that. Um, but I'm gonna take this in and all these little holes all up in here, this little, this is the intake. I'm gonna spray that all down with the uh, gum out carbon choke and parts cleaner. And uh, I'm gonna spray it and blow it out with some air. Hopefully it'll pump back up and uh, give it a try. What do I got to lose, right? All right, I'm gonna take it, let's take this thing inside. Okay, now we're back inside. Um, I'm gonna take, try to take this gasket off here gently. I'm gonna set it aside. Um, all these little holes and so forth, we have to spray with this cleaner. Well, it's too close, you know. And it got some, went to the local auto parts store and got Come out, carb choke and parts cleaner. So what I've seen on YouTube is we got to take all these holes and spray them. Oh, oh, that was a good burst. Probably can't see because my hand's in the way, right? All right. So I'm just spraying all this. And then I don't know if I have a fine enough wire. Um, right here. 
probably shouldn't be using a Q-tip. But at any rate, but with the taste fuel, um, it's got ethanol in it. And you know, these older motors and engines, the tubes and so forth, they get gummed up. And that ethanol and it, it just rots all these tubes away. So you have to have, you gotta change all your tubes out eventually to, uh, to accommodate the ethanol. And, um, nope, sorry. So you have to change all your tubes out to accommodate. Look at that. There's a lot of crud in there. Look. And. So. Because um, if not, they, they everything gets clogged up and gummed up and gelled and, and so forth and so such. So this is really dirty. Um, so I'm just going to clean this up. Spray it down again. I don't know where that came from. No, oh, that's just a tag with a number on it. That's just a tag with a number. So. I'm just going to clean this up. I think that right there is a little ball valve. I'm not, you know, I'm probably mistaken. But it's like a check valve, and so the air doesn't, or the gas doesn't go back down. Just clean this up as best I can. And uh, then I'll go over and get the air. Good. This got me an air gun, a little needle valve on it. And just spray it. I can feel air coming out of this hole. So we'll spray that and we'll see what comes out of this one. I don't feel any air coming out of that little hole right there, that ball valve. It's actually coming out the side. So that might still be clogged. So I might have to get a piece of wire, poke it in, clean it out. So let me go do that. Let me find a piece of wire. And most of the wire that I have is really, really heavy. Now, let's see if the camera will focus in on that. It's really heavy. So, but I got a bread tie. And we'll see if the bread tie, bread tie wire will go in there. But we'll try this heavy one first. And, no, it's not flexible enough. It's got to go around that bend. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I'll spray it again. Doesn't seem like anything wants to go through that.
Huh. I don't know what all these little holes do to. Okay, well that just happened. Okay, hopefully I'm not ruining this thing. If I can't get air on it. See, that goes straight through. There's a diaphragm, which I probably just shouldn't have done that. Well, that's a screen. I gotta push that screen back in there. Uh oh. That. Okay. I'll leave that alone. Still no air coming through that little hole. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, it's pretty well clogged up. Yeah, I think I should be feeling air coming out of there. I blow it in here it should come up in here and it's not I don't feel any air so that in mind I mean I sprayed it pretty good so I mean I ran this up in here you can see if I keep it in the camera but Still can't get anything down in here. I mean, there's a screw there, but I don't want to keep taking things apart. This is what I do. I start taking things apart, and then it doesn't work. And I think that screw holds that on so I'm not going to mess with that so. put this back on here put it back together out there and hopefully uh, Hopefully it pumps up. All right, go out and try it. All right, I brought the carb out, the carb spray out. I'm just gonna touch this up here, this portion of the carb. Ain't no sense of cleaning. One half and not the other, so. We'll get that all cleaned up. Let that air. And uh, put this back on. Yeah, I don't think that goes like that. Holes ain't lining up. I probably got it on backwards. 
Alright, it goes like this. There we go. Now the holes are lining up. So make sure, be careful of that gasket. Line these up. There we go. Start this. Unfortunately, I've seen on some of them on the on YouTube that it was all together in one piece, and they can pump it, they can pump the primer ball, and they can feel the air. But this is I have to put it on in order for me to feel the air. So that's not going to work for me. So I'll just put it all together because if it doesn't work, like I said, I'm taking it over to the repair shop first thing Monday morning because this is my power auger and I got some fence poles I got to put in and I got to finish my fence. And I'm not digging them things out by hand. <clears throat> I'll start them with this power auger. I mean, that's why I got it. I don't know. Uh, so, I mean, you get a tool. I mean, this thing's been sitting because I don't use it every day. So, it could have got clogged up. Yeah, got dirty, got clogged. Who knows? Yeah, I should leave it to the professionals. Let you guys, let you guys fix it. But I'm cheap sometimes, and I just if I don't have to spend the money. I won't, because that's more money that I can. Get. Me and the missus can go travel. I don't know what happened to my little. She used to have a rubber piece on it. Oh, here it is. Fell off. Found it on the ground. That's so the metal don't wear through the plastic tank. Tighten that up and it's not lined up. And actually, it's quarter to five. Today is opening day of archery season in New Jersey. The early season. And beautiful, non humid. And, oh, beautiful day to be out in the woods. But I chose not to at this point. Yeah. Not yet. This all hooked up. Alright, that's all hooked up. So let's see what we got. Oh, we're pumping fuel. I've seen fuel go up. Let's see, we gotta get fuel in the bubble. Oh, I'm gonna stand this up and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. Now, I started, I had to spray it. The ball was pumping up, got a little bit of fuel in it, not much, it didn't fill up. But I think my tube, my air tube was too much, return or whatever, I don't know what they're called. But I don't think it's supposed to be down inside the gas. So I pulled it up a little bit, 
I'm gonna push it down and see if it does make a difference. Just a little bit. And I sprayed it with some starter fluid. Just sprayed it in the in the carburetor and uh, fired right up, stayed running. So let's see if it starts up again. Uh oh. talking to. He's always keeping an eye on me. Digging a hole. 